Eric Allen here with Jets tight end Kenny Yaboa. Take me through the final play of regulation. Man, it was it was crazy. Coach called the play. We said Hail Mary. James came in the huddle and he was like, we're going to throw it deep. Somebody going to make a play. So as we're running out there, lining up, me and the receivers talk, we're like, bro, we got to make this play. So it was just so surreal just to make the play and be be the person to do that. And, I, and I'm just very thankful for it. Where did you line up at the snap? And, and can you take us through your run down the field? And then at what point did you find the ball? So pretty much we lined up in like a bunch formation outside the numbers. And it's just like one person is long, one person short, one person in the middle so it's basically just a jump ball and I just looked up, I ran down the field I looked up and the ball was coming I was like oh snap I can make this play and I jumped up caught it and made the play so it was just it just all planned out real well how much does basketball come into play there because everybody talks about getting the ball yeah. at the top of your jump mm -hmm. it definitely comes into play especially with like Hail Marys because you get you box out the guy you get a good position on the ball it's like going up to get a rebound so that's literally what it was like I just seen the ball coming I tried to box out the guy and the ball just fell in my hands made play have you ever had a moment like that ever playing college playing football take me back to even the days when you're playing Sandlot Seriously, I've never had, a, never had that happen to me before, and it's crazy that happened in this NFL game, so I'm just blessed and I'm just thankful for it. All right, so that cut the deficit to 31-29, but you guys had to get in with the two-point conversion. What were your thoughts when you, see, when you saw Josh power in? Oh, man, I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I, I made the, the play, and Josh just finished it off, so I was just so ecstatic. And being a rookie and just being able to come out there and help the team is just so surreal, so surreal. You, you had an outstanding game overall. Two touchdown catches. You cut the deficit earlier there in the fourth. Um, what about that play and the rope from James? So James, James is a ball player, man. He, he gets the ball to us, and we just make plays. So pretty much when we came up to the line, read the coverage, he passed me the ball. It was like a slant over the middle. I went inside the back, it was wide open, hit me, easy touchdown. It was, it was great. It was great. I just talked to Jason about it before. How much have you grown as a player from day one of camp till now? Oh, man, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Even my, my coach. I have, But it's it's great because I've had, I have a good support system from, like, the other tight ends, the older tight ends, like Tyler Croft, Ryan Griffin. I've been learning a lot from them. And I'm just very thankful that I'm here with the Jets. Coach Sala makes the environment, like, so much fun to be in. And so I'm just so happy to be here. Seriously, I come to work every day, and I just work real hard. And like I said, I have a great group of guys around me that just, like, cheer me on and want me to do the best I can. So final question, Kenny. Have you taken a look at your phone to see how many text messages you've received so far? <laughs> not, not yet, because I know there's probably a lot, a lot of gonna, people. You're going to be blowing up. Are you going to yeah. go watch uh, ESPN when you get home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be with my family after this. So I know they're, they're all excited. I see my dad already texting me, and they're all happy. They can't wait to see me. So like I said, just take it day by day. This is a great game for me, but I'm just going to keep building off this and getting better. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thank you.